Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I like to use ChatGPT to super duper shortcut and uh, actually supercharge my mid journey image generation prompts. For example, today I am working on a logo for my new meditation channel and I want to come up with an interesting logo idea. Now I could sit here and I could type in prompt ideas into mid-journey all day long and it would take me a long time to do so. However, there is a much faster and easier way to do that with the help of ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to instruct ChatGPT to help me write image prompt ideas for mid-journey and then I can just quickly iterate a bunch of stuff in there and uh, find something that I don't even know that I want yet. So let's see how this is going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to give ChatGPT a prompt. Something like, we're going to help me generate mid-journey logo prompt ideas for a meditation app. Be creative, give me five ideas at a time. I'm going to tell it one thing. I'm going to say, don't give any names. Don't give any names. Because here's what I want to do. I want to be able to easily copy and paste these into mid-journey. Now this is mid-journey's alpha web version and it is very fast and very easy to use. So I'm just going to go double click, paste, double click, paste, double click, paste, uh, and so on and so forth. Now here we have some images coming up and I got to say I like some of these already, especially these flowers. Those are so crispy. The nice thing about ChatGPT is it will very detailedly, there's a real English word, in great detail it will describe an image. This would take you a long time to think of, let alone type out. Uh, and that's the beautiful thing about iterating with ChatGPT is not only did I not have to think about these nuances of detail, right? These color variations, these 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 ideas, I didn't have to think of them. I just got to see a bunch of things I didn't even know what I wanted. Say I don't like those. I say, give me five more. Or I say, give me five more and focus more on a simple color st structure, right? Now, I may or may not want that. I kind of like the flower, but I just want you to know that you can iterate with ChatGPT to laser in on the type of prompts that it's going to generate for mid journey. So you can kind of take what it first suggests for you and you can be like, okay, you know what? I kind of like this. Let's do more, which are kind of focused around flowers and this kind of violet color scheme. Think of some other variations. Instead of flowers, what could we do, right? And you can get it to sort of laser in. You can kind of work with ChatGPT to do your thinking for you, but you can still do your own thinking, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now we have some of our simple color variations coming up, and yeah, those look very much like a nice simple logo. There's some very interesting ideas. But you know what? I'm going to say, let's say, let's say something like, let's focus more on mystical zen. Mystical zen. Something more like energy, mystical zen. Let's see what we get here. So we've got some of those zen variations. Mystical, yes, kind of what I was thinking, that energy. And we've got some simple shapes, which are pretty, pretty cool. And of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg. For example, I asked ChatGPT to help me generate interesting character ideas for this storybook and fantasy world setting that I'm working on. My specifications were it shouldn't be like a creature that exists on Earth. And I'm not exactly sure what sorts of creatures and characters I want in my world yet, but you know what? I can get ChatGPT to come up with all sorts of interesting ideas for characters and creatures that I might want to inhabit this world. And just looking at the artwork, suddenly I'm like, okay, I'm getting story ideas out of this, right? And so the beauty and the power of ChatGPT plus mid-journey is that you can give a vague notion, such as, for example, you know, give me creature ideas. Here are some specifications, right? And then ChatGPT can help you to iterate and expand and just fulfill your base idea with unlimited boundless creativity, right? So I hope you've all enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.